Hi everyone, this is Derek Boston again, coming back to you with a little demo version of Pennywise being painted on my son Landon here. My apologies for the blurry video. I <clears throat> do correct it at about a minute, 20 seconds in, but right now you can see I'm just outlining the mask shape that I'm going to be putting on um, in white eyeliner or something of that, but I'll put a product link down in the description below. Um, and then we're just going to fill it in with our face paint by Mehron Paradise face paint, white in color. And I believe I put two coats on to get a nice, thick, even coverage. <clears throat> I, I throw it on there with a makeup brush, but I think I've found it's easiest to put it on there with a, a sponge and then stapling it on or pushing it on, pressing it on. kids face painting it's uh, much easier if they're distracted by a video game <laughs> and as you can see here we've moved on to the eyes and I started out doing just a uh, black face paint on his eyes instead of using eyeliner because that gel stuff is so hard to get off this stuff is just water soluble and comes right off in the shower with a, a, a wipe I started filling in the whole eye like a skull would be, but I didn't like the look out of it. I, it just didn't look like a clown's makeup. So I, I took that off, and I'm going in with some black eyeshadow instead. And with enough product, it's going to be dark enough and scary enough for a freaky little clown look. Kind of played with whatever I uh, I did here with a shadow, going down the nose, contouring some stuff, and shading. I'll clean it up later as well. But uh, now I'm just moving on to the nose a little bit, cleaning off the white face paint. Just this face, face paint that I got, and I'll put a link down to the description below. But it's uh, it's just a, a multicolor pack for this red. And I decided it, it it's not my favorite, and I'll be purchasing the Mayron paradise red face paint actually I'm waiting on Amazon to deliver it today but uh so once I apply this face paint and this is a lipstick that I was using for the lips uh, assuming it would be more waterproof and safe for the mouth but um yeah it didn't mix well with the white face paint so just got to be careful with how you put it on where you put it on and both of those reds I wasn't a big fan of so I went over it with the uh, the face paint over top of the lipstick and as you can see it's not a great red so being that this is a scary look I later went over the lips and the nose with a black eyeshadow and kind of darkened it up and made it a little bit more scary looking not so playful clown <clears throat> and I smudged it in there kind of uh, blending it in and went over it both and a couple uh, different layers of red and black eyeshadow and eventually it turned into something I was okay with but I have a feeling once this since was, this was just a trial run we'll be going over it um, with the mayor on face paint and I have a feeling it's going to turn out much better next time but that's why we do these practice runs just to see with this this brow definition I went over it with a very thick bristle brush and it wasn't that good obviously I, you'll see me later go over it with white face paint here and then redefine it with a smaller brush but my my uh, my objective here is that I want the face paint to look like it's kind of a mask that's over top of the skin and that each point that's that's pulled is stretched and the shading I'm putting in now is kind of help kind of help uh, resemble a shadow that the mask is actually lying on top of the face and as you can see I'm going back here kind of uh, darkening the brow lines with some with a little black eyeshadow 
these are my points of contact that the face mask is actually lying on top of the face and kind of put in some dark stretch marks kind of trying to mimic some pull marks if this were a fabric face mask attached to the skull somehow it's kind of got like stretch marks you will have to shade those in a little bit and kind of keep going over them redefining them and give them a few different layers of texture try and make it as realistic as possible uh, I start on the cheekbone lines there and with a white face mask it just kind of uh, makes everything look flat so you're gonna have to go in there and redefine everything with shading and shading makes or break a face mask with face paint I'm still perfecting that technique there's just so many great makeup artists out there on YouTube you can check out Alex Faction being one I'll again put a link for his uh, information down below in the description but he's he's awesome he's all over YouTube my apologies for the uh, the video this is still a learning process for me but now I'm just taking that same red face paint I'm trying to put it put it on but as you can see it doesn't go on very thick and maybe it's just my technique of just getting it on the brush but yeah I've had to go over it a couple times and freehand those lines and obviously I have some work to do on freehanding those lines and these as well but went over it a couple times perfected and thickened it up so it's more visible We'll be trying this again before Halloween with the Maron face paint. The color I think will look a little bit better and as well as the coverage with the thickness. I'm darkening in the laugh lines with some black eyeshadow as well. One trick I've learned is it's better to go on with less product than more because you can always add more, of course. It's easier than to uh, reapply the white face paint over it to erase it, but I'm kind of shading in or uh, blending in the the eyeshadow up top with my fingers just to try and make a transition smooth better but there you have it that's what we did <laughs> he kind of finds it hard to keep my straight face but that's my video hope you like it and hope you have a little bit better results than we did we'll see ya